What's up, guys? So since it looks like we are getting a new damage task very soon, I decided to make this video showing you guys how to damage farm at every single level. I know a lot of you guys aren't level 330, and I know a lot of you guys don't even have World 2 yet. So I'm going to show you guys how to damage farm and get tons and tons of gems. You guys can see right here, I'm at 97,000 gems, boys. Oh my gosh. And also, it looks like they are doing a conversion from gems to stardust. So this is going to be very, very relevant for everybody. Now, in the meantime, before this update drops, make sure you guys are doing the ticket event, guys, on extreme mode and select gem slash gold. That is going to be the fastest way to get those gems or alternatively do the time chamber because that also gives you stardust as well. But if you guys don't have your damage task maxed already, go let's follow this video. And I'll show you guys how to max out your damage task at every single level. All right, guys, so let's start off at level zero. If you guys are just starting the game, I'm going to show you guys the units I recommend. All right, so the easiest unit that you can actually damage farm is this one, is this bad boy right here, guys. All right, so if you're a new player, I definitely recommend picking him up, not only because he's good for story, but he got a pretty nice buff and he can do a pretty a good amount of damage, guys. So this is going to get you easily through um, uh, your first little bit of damage task. And you should have plenty of gems for... Um, whatever you need from level 0 to level 40. Now, some other thing I recommend if you are a new player is I recommend you get this guy ASAP, all right? As soon as you see this guy in the banner, you're going to want to pick him up and try to level him up, all right? This guy is going to triple the damage of any unit you have. And if you guys are level 40, he is the best buff unit you can get, all right? And he's honestly, you can easily get him in the banner. And it's only going to cost you a few thousand gems. And honestly, with the codes, you should be able to get that pretty quickly. All right, next, you're going to really want to get this girl right here. All right, that is Balma 5 Star. She is the best money unit you can get if you are in world number one. All right, if you're not in world two yet, make sure you guys get her. All right. Now, some other great damage farm units I recommend after you guys use Golden Frieza is this guy right here. All right, you can use Kira or Kira Darkness. Now, make sure you guys go to the orb shop and you guys can pick up his orb. It's called the death orb. All right. Make sure you guys pick this up. It's going to yeah. give um, Akira a five. That's 500% more damage. And it works on Kira and Kira darkness as well as death. So basically, that means this guy is going to be a way better damage farming machine. But again, still not the greatest. But once you evolve him into this guy right here, look at that damage, guys. You guys are going to be able, easily able to max out your damage task with this guy. This guy was the OG damage farm king along with, of course, is um uh, baby brother kira five star all right that should easily honestly you can easily max out your damage task with those guys but i'm gonna go to quickly go over some other units you can use if you're still in world one and you can't get kira all right one great option is the moon orb it only requires a four star which you can easily get from the banner but the problem is the moon orb costs a ton of gems so make sure you guys watch out whenever you do that all right next up we have we have obito now obito is slightly harder to get if you see his evolution, you're going to need all these units. Now, honestly, you can get these units from the gold banner. So you can still get him. Like, for example, you guys can get him easily from this gold banner. But you're going to have to wait a long time for them to actually show up. But he is going to be doing one of the most damage in the game. And you can easily get high waves with him as well and get a ton, a ton of damage. Also, some other units you guys can go for is Naruto 6-star. He does like a million damage on his final upgrade. Pretty nice. Also, the strongest curse um right here sukuna you can definitely use him as well um he's definitely more of if you're like later on into world two i mean into world one also this guy is really really sweet as well um uh vegeto because all you need is a like a like a four star vegeta and a and you already start out with goku and he's already doing a million damage all right and the thing for him you just need these two orbs all you guys have to do is spend a little bit of gems in the um uh, orb shop right over here all right. You see, look how much it costs. 37.50. So all you need is that because the Vegeta 5-star, etc. is just so easy to get in the banner. And that guy is going to be doing a lot of damage. I'll showcase his damage for you right now. And uh, then let's talk about what you guys should do in World 2. So let's go head over to World 2 real quick and I'll show you. All right. But first off, guys, make sure if you guys get into World 2, 
This guy right here, Jeff CO, is one of the first units you need to get. Because all of the rest of the damage farm units I'm going to show you are super, super expensive. And I'm pretty sure this guy is a requirement. You're going to have a really hard time if all you have is Bulma. And honestly, you might even want to equip both. Also, if you want to, you can also go for Brook as well. Uh, Brook is going to damage, increase your damage by just a slight bit compared to Erwin. So I definitely recommend picking him up or evolving him from the five star. All right, let's go to training mode. And I'll show you guys all of the ones I recommended. All right, guys. So let me start off with the easiest unit to get of all of these. All right, all it's going to cost you is 7,500 gems for the orbs, or you can just orb farm it. And um, all you need is these two units right here. There you go. And it's going to become this guy right here. All right. Now, the thing is, his damage kind of sucks at the start, but if you upgrade him all the way, look at this, guys. Bang. All right. At level 10, he's already doing a million damage. And that's going to be a very, very nice damage farm, especially if you're a new player. And let's just go throw on like a little bit of a Brook upgrade. All right. If we get the Brooks popping off or Erwin as well, guys, works perfectly fine if you're low level. Look at this. And then look at this. So basically his level one stats are doing 3 million at max level he's doing 7 million damage guys that's going to be a very 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 op damage farm for new players honestly one of the best especially considering how easy it is to get guys so if you're trying to damage farm i definitely 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 recommend using um uh, this guy because he's so good for new players all right so say you're in um a uh, world say you're like maybe a little bit higher level and you want to damage farm even faster maybe you guys want to drop light yagmi all right but make sure you guys give Light Yagmi this, his orb, all right? If he does not have this orb right here, he's doing five times less damage. So make sure you guys give him the orb. And look at this guy's damage right here. All right, 33 million damage max. And that's without Erwin buff, guys, or um, uh, um, Brook buff. So 66 million damage, guys. That is a ton of damage. So let's go get the buff popping off. All right, here we go. And here we go. And uh, let's go take a look, guys. 233 million damage, guys, per hit. So if we spawn in a bunch of enemies real quick, let me go one X that real quick. So if we just spawn a bunch of enemies, and then we go take a look at our damage real quick. All right, we fire off the ability, and bang, guys. We're already in the billions. So if you're a newer player, guys, that's going to give you tens of thousands of gems. They did kind of nerf the damage task recently, though, so I'm a little bit worried. But uh, yeah, that's definitely the best way for new players. Either getting um, a Vegito or um, a Kira Darkness. All right, so say you're now in World 2, guys, and you're looking to max it out in just a couple seconds. This is the best guy for you, all right? The Pharaoh. All right, so if we take a look at him real quick, um, he has this ability, draw a card. So once he draws all the cards, there's a little bit of RNG, guys. So he he'll show up five cards in his back. I'll show you guys that in a second. Let me 2X this real quick. All right, I'll show you that in a second. And basically, he instantly completes your damage task. Each each one of his hits does five, I think it's 2.5 to 5 billion damage per enemy. And it's really, really good. The only problem is you can only use his ability once per game. So he's not technically the best damage farm in the game. There's actually one that is slightly better than him. And I'll show you guys that in a second. All right, you see that card that just popped up behind him? Once he draws the fifth card for Exodia, that's when his ability fires off, all right? And that's when the magic happens. And that's going to do and that's what is going to do 5 billion damage to the enemies i'm going to show you a clip of me using it right now all right here we go guys so this is me using it all right look at my damage there in the corner guys all right it's about to fire off all right one second let me retry that all right so let's take a look guys so i'm about to fire it off take a look at my damage guys 2 billion right here all right yeah so the thing is you want to make sure the enemies is full on the field all right there's exodia and then look at my damage Look at that, guys. 302 billion in just one hit. And it only took us wave 65. Honestly, we could have done it way sooner. Probably like around wave 50-ish. And so that's going to be the fastest. Like, honestly, guys, you could do this damage farm in like 20 minutes. All right. So he's definitely the best if you want the fastest damage farm. Now, if you guys want to get the most damage possible in a game going up in the trillions, you need this guy. Now, the problem with this guy is you need to get him in the Star Bass banner. And there is no Star... Not Star Pass banner. I mean, the Star Dust banner. And there is no Star Dust banner pity. All right, so if you take a look at his final upgrade, guys, this one right here, it's going to cost you like $10 million, all right? So it is a pretty massive cost of an upgrade, but look at that, guys, $39 million. Now, if we compare that to Light Yagami, um, Light Yagami is doing $66 million. So he's actually doing less damage than Light Yagami, but the thing is, Light Yagami, 
Like, you have to wait for his cooldown. This guy just keeps firing off and has a way faster SBA, guys. Look at that. 16 SBA versus 500. So, Broly is definitely going to catch up. Now, let me go show you guys a clip of Broly getting insane damage. All right. Big shout out to my friend, Admin. Let's get him to 50k subs, guys. He is one of my close ASD friends in the group chat. So, let me go show you guys how much damage he got. All right. Look at this, guys. He's using Broly. And this is his roster, guys. You got basically just time stop and Broly. Literally just time stop and Broly, guys. Because Broly also hits air units. And look at that, guys. He already up in the trillions on wave 97. So, yes, sir, guys. Broly is definitely one of the best. Is probably even better than Light Yagami. And this is a solo run as well. If he had, like, multiple players, he easily could get even more damage than the 1 billion damage. All right. So, there you go, guys. And, a big again, big shout out to Admin. And uh, there you go, guys. That is the best way to damage farm at every single level. Let me know what you guys think about it down below. And yes, sir, look at that Exodia animation. Sheesh.